Hello, Cancer. It's my lady from the Ladies' Way here, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of 9 24 through October 1st, 2017. The cards I'm using today are um, Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's check your sun, moon, and rising signs and let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the cancer? Cancer, cancer. Cancer love reading September 24th through October 1st, 2017. September 24th through October 1st, 2017. All right, so somebody is having self-esteem issues. This could be you or this could be your partner, okay? September 24th 4th through October 1st, 2017. All right, so whatever the situation is, it's going to happen within the next two weeks, and it's been warm enough to happen slowly, okay? It's like you see it coming, okay? It might be some third-party situations that's coming out. All right, that's what I saw when I was dealing. Uh, so everything that's getting ready to be said, it's going to happen within the next couple of days to two weeks, okay? All right, and it's dealing with um, somebody that's arrogant, somebody that believes they deserve everything, that they're not wrong. Everything's there. Everything's right. All right, and there is that um, beauty card again. So it's like someone's arrogance is, um, is making you feel unlike yourself. It's making you feel ugly is making you feel feel negative is making you feel devious it's, ma it's making you feel everything that you aren't you know so i feel like it's manipulation going on and it's making you feel like less of a person all right we got two flippers so this person is violating your personal space and they're treating you like they don't want you and i think that's what's lowering your self-esteem because they think they're better than you they think they deserve everything and you don't deserve anything Mm. All right, so uh, the, your friends are talking about you. They talking about you, and I feel like they talking to you about the situation, and I feel like they talking about you because you won't do nothing about this situation. You know, you you're trying to look away from what what's going on. They like what's going on with him or her. Why why is she letting that happen? Why is he letting that happen? Okay, so it seems like the influence of your friends are, is making you think about time out, you know, and the feelings that you're getting, you know, and, and the way this person is treating you. But right now, it's just thoughts. Like, maybe I should leave. Yeah, violating your personal space. Making you feel ugly. I mean, ugly, unwanted, unworthy, you know? Mm-mm. Yeah, you're not looking at the situation for what it is. You're trying to see what you want to see, trying to find ways around it, you know. But in reality, this person is just treating you like, I don't want to say this, but a dog. Well, dogs get treated better than this. And then it's like, you can, um, my dogs do. But, um... This is basically saying it's time for you to go. It's time for you to take that move. You know, your destination is somewhere else. You're, where you're supposed to be is not here. You don't deserve this. Okay? All right, what's going on for the cancer? Cancer love reading. October 24th. No, sorry. September 24th through October 1st, 2017. Cancer. Cancer love reading, cancer love reading, September 24th, October 1st, 2017. What's going on? What's going on? All right. Sorry. My hands are a little heavy today. All right. So somebody is thinking about moving or taking a trip. So this could be you thinking about leaving or this could be your partner leaving on a trip and judging by the situations around 
possibly without you. All right, so you're getting letters in the mail. These letters in the mail, maybe, um, or email or whatever, they could be talking about a trip you're getting ready to go on. But it, there's a lot of fighting going on around this trip. So it's like, hmm, what's going on here? Like, why are you taking this trip without me? What's going on on this trip that I can't go? So we got somebody is sitting there. I don't know why. I just felt like you may be paying for this trip that this person is going on. Or maybe um, you just found out this person is moving and they got money and they were acting like they didn't have any money and it caused problems. But I'm going to read this straight out the book, okay? So we have the Knight of Staffs first. So the Knight of Staff says, you may be taking a trip soon over a long distance. Now is a good time uh, to change where you live. If you want to leave, leave the situation now. So this is basically like, it's basically like leave now before it get worse, you know? So you got the Eight of Staffs. You could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it's a general reading. It could be anybody, all right? So, um, we have the Eight of Staffs, and that's upright. And it says, things will begin to move very quickly. You may face jealousy from those who um, see your success. So, that um, could be your friends, too. Or it could be your partner when you finally um, leave. But I feel like this leaving is, is just going to be a temporary, like, you go off on a trip somewhere or they go on a trip and you sitting there thinking like this ain't right you know and then you know you you think about what's going on you try to fix it and you come back you know but with this kind of situation I feel like it's a reoccurring thing it's not going to stop just because you leave and come back all right so we got the five of staffs and it says people are fighting caution may be used harm may follow arguments occur and continue so it's like yeah, after this trip, nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. You're thinking about it yourself. It's not going to do anything. It takes two to change a relationship, you know. All right, so now we have the King of Coins. The King of Coins is um excellent person for economic or romantic attachment. A time to use your abilities for economic status. So it's like basically... Just seeing all this is like you you might want to like stop using your money for um, the relationship and start stacking it up for yourself because it seems like you may end up moving. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.